Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am feeling so much better. It's actually insane. I went through a little bit of a health blip there and I'm going to be talking to you about that in a Q&A video. But anyways, thank you so much for your comments and your likes on my community tab when I just kind of posted up that I was going to be missing a couple of videos. I'm so happy to be back and I thought that we could kind of kick things off with a very chill chatty video because these are some of my favorite to watch because honestly the people I follow on YouTube I consider them friends and I know that's a parasocial relationship but it's one that is very important to me and it's just kind of like sitting down and chatting with a friend and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So past that ramble, if you are new here, my name is Amanda Weldon. Um, here we like to talk about style, lifestyle and travel when we can and today is very much on the lifestyle side of things because I have some new things not only in my wardrobe but also in my beauty collection and I can't wait to chat with you about them because so many of these things make me so happy. And this is basically new in my collection, I'm gonna broadly call it that, um, because it, again, it kind of like transverses a couple of different categories. If you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love for you to join this cozy nook of the internet and like this video if you wanna see more like this. But without further ado, let's dive right in. So I'm thinking we talk about beauty first. This is something new to me, but not new to the beauty universe and it is something that I've been hearing about for so, so long. Working in TV for a long time, getting shiny on camera is one of the things that you absolutely despise and your makeup moving around is also the worst. I recently purchased the Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. It looks like this. Absolutely beautiful packaging. And I also purchased the Sephora 50 brush. I have my shade in Fair One because I mean, look at me. As winter goes on, I am like, I am a literal vampire. This is why we don't show ourselves in sunlight. People would know we're different. This is what I am. One thing that I just didn't know I desperately needed. So to set makeup, to kind of remove any of the shininess for camera, these two things have been an absolute savior. And I can honestly say this is now in my beauty routine. One thing that I love about this is that it's a compact powder. There's hardly any fallout. I really do notice the difference of my skin changing, but without makeup feeling like it's on my skin, if that makes sense. So it's, it would be really hard to kind of cake this on. And I love that about it as I move into my 30s, I just don't want to have a ton of makeup on because that just settles into creases and laugh lines and all that sort of thing. And the last thing I will say about this is that it has that 30M on the back of the product, which means that as soon as it is opened, it will last for 30 months. And I have not hit pan on this yet. I have been using it pretty much every single day and I can see that there's a little indent there, but I think I am very confident about having this and maybe adding the darker shade in the summer into my collection because it's gonna last so long and stay fresh. In the same order from Sephora when I purchased that, I also purchased this Flower Bomb by Victor Rolf. Now I have two scents currently in my collection, four after this video, and I normally use Turquatic by MAC. And during the fall and winter, I also dove into Replica by The Fireside. Now that MAC fragrance, I have had since like high school, like the moment that I could buy perfume, that was kind of the one that I went with. And truly when people smell it, still now to this day, if I haven't seen them for a while, I've had people say, oh my gosh, you smell like Amanda, and I love that. But at the same time, I really feel like I'm ready to expand my scent portfolio. <laughs> and I've noticed that when I got by the fireside, which is an awesome fragrance, not new in necessarily, but new in, I guess, within the year, um, as fragrances go, I feel like that one is very much like nighttime, sexy, dark vibes, like you're going out to dinner, you're on date night, those kind of vibes. And that's also a unisex fragrance, which I adore. But I was looking for something really, really girly and I'd heard so much about Victor Rolf because they have been doing so many campaigns with a bunch of influencers that I absolutely love. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Also, how cool is this bottle? This fragrance is feminine, it is floral, it is strong, it is you know, it's empowering. It is very much one of those fragrances you put on when you're like, I am ready to step into this room, step into my femininity. It just really has 
that strong elegance to it. If you're not one for super strong fragrances, I would maybe say stay away from this one. But for myself, when I wanna wear something that is absolutely super girly, this is the one I'm gonna be grabbing for. And I would consider this one one that I would wear maybe to a wedding or something like that in the summer. I think I'm gonna be using this much more in those summer months. As much as I love the Victor Rolf fragrance, I found the one for me, like the summer fragrance for me. And it was actually because I purchased this fragrance, they get you guys, <laughs> like Sephora, they just know. They put in a bunch of samples for other fragrances into my order because I did it online. And I ended up getting the sample for this Erin fragrance. And Erin, I had been hearing a little bit more about it lately because I've been watching a lot of Lydia's vlogs and she very much champions Erin and her favorite scent is the Amber Musk fragrance, which I would love to try out, but I wanna be able to smell it before I make that purchase. This is the Mediterranean Honeysuckle fragrance and you guys, this, this is getting me through the winter months. It smells amazing. It is fresh. It's that little bit of floral. You know, it is just so beautiful. And honestly, when I think of maybe my personal wedding fragrance for next year, oh, I can't wait to tell you all about that. I'm actually thinking about this or finding an Erin fragrance that I just wear on that day for the first time and then it'll just forever remind me of that day. I love when people do that to really highlight a very specific memory. But this fragrance has my heart. It makes me feel like spring and it has been helping me through those winter months right now when I am just looking outside and it is so grim. I spray this and I just close my eyes. <laughs> this sounds so dorky. And I think about a vacation. I think about spring and I think about those honeysuckle moments. Highly recommend giving Erin a try and next time you're in Sephora just kind of looking at that range. I'm also so curious in the comments below, are you someone who has a ton of scents or are you someone who would rather have a signature scent? For example, my mom also has a signature scent that she has been wearing like since the beginning of time. She wears Calvin Klein Obsession and yeah whenever I smell it I'm like mom! she's here, you know? And I do think that there's a lot of power in that because as we know, scent carries a lot of memory, but I'm actually really excited to be finally expanding my collection. And yeah, this is just a really tiny one. I have had natural nails for, I mean, since the beginning of quarantine in the middle. Yeah, no, I don't think I got my nails done at all. Like since quarantine began because it was such a disaster when none of us could go to the salon. I mean, obviously not the worst thing to happen, but it was obviously really annoying and my nails were in such bad sorts. I have super peely, peely nails and they have been in the best condition they have ever been. And I think it's because one, I've been taking B12, vitamin D, and a daily supplement, but also because I've been using products like this. This is the Essie Gel Couture, and I really love this range. Outside of just regular Essie nail polishes, I found that they just like didn't last for me, and I had built such a huge collection, and I looked at it thinking, why do I have all these? I honestly just really like a neutral, natural nail, especially when I'm doing it myself because if you screw up, no one will notice. Also the shape, I should show you this too. The shape of the brush, it's actually flat. So when you are stroking this on your nail, it is so easy to get a really beautiful brush without any brush strokes. So highly recommend checking these out next time you are in Shoppers Drug Mart or your local drugstore. Um, try to get them on sale too because nail polish can be kind of expensive if you're just kind of adding it to your cart. But this is in sheer fantasy and I really love their sheer ranges. I made a naughty purchase. I. <laughs> I am so excited about this purchase and I am really hoping that I can be one of those people that doesn't break or lose their sunglasses. I have proven to be pretty good, knock on wood, um, lately. Uh, in the past few years, I've been really great. I have quite a few pairs of Ray-Bans and none of them have gone missing. They have broken, but that's because I let someone else borrow them and I purchased a pair of sunglasses. Now I purchased these from Essence. They are Fendi. The reason why I love Essence, and I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Essence. Um, the reason why I like that supplier, it's very much like a My Teresa Farfetch. It's a conglomerate site that pulls in boutiques all around the world and then offers those products 
to you in one space. So say you were looking for a very specific Zimmerman dress, for example, or a Chloe bag, you could go on there and find a bunch of different offerings that search all around the world for them. So yeah, it, ma it makes it easier to find things that you would like to find. And I ended up seeing Josie, Josie from Fashion Mumbler, either wearing this pair or a very similar pair. And we have very similar styles and the way that I want my wardrobe to go, it is very much in that elevated country girly kind of way. And it's something that I haven't necessarily brought out because here in Canada, here in around the Toronto area, I feel like people dress a little bit more street style, a little bit more chic. Um, chic in the way of like blacks and things like that versus chic in the way of like creams and country styling. And when I saw these, I was like, these are so me. So let me know if you think they are me. I love like a 70s, 60s style. And I just love the gold detail on the side because all of my accessories are gold. The sun is approaching me right now. I think we're gonna have to shift over, but it's perfect. Like I could just be in the sun. But anyways, I think they suit me so much. I'm so excited to have them ahead of the spring and the summer season because as I look at my wardrobe and it is moving more into the girly area, the pinks, the creams, the whites, this is just gonna set it off. Also, I feel so cool because I can just push my hair up back because it doesn't have any of those nose pieces so it's not gonna mess up my hair at all and it immediately elevates your outfit there are some dresses I like wearing very simple dresses like peasant dresses and things like that and you can just kind of throw that on and then adding a little bit of luxury immediately elevates the outfit and it makes you just feel good I don't know about you that's very much a personal preference but yeah I love these and I hope you like them too. Okay, I had to move over just as had to be chasing the sun to the side of me, but I've got to say having the sun stroll in, be talking about spring fragrances and sunglasses, it is giving me what my heart needs. So next up, let's talk about new things into the wardrobe. I'm going to talk about my sleep wardrobe first because we'll just like go through where I'm really at. We'll go sleep comfy and then a little bit of more my everyday wardrobe. I purchased this pair of absolutely stunning sleepwear from Very. Now this is the brand that came out from Valeria Lipovetsky and she has been championing her own brand for a very long time. They went into a rebrand and became Very and honestly, this set is so, so gorgeous. It's like a buttermilk, maybe a little bit stronger, blossomy yellow and it truly makes me so happy when I put it on. There is something about turning 30. Tell me if you were at this sooner than I was or this took longer than it did for me. There is something about the moment I turned 30 that I realized <laughs> I wanna have nice sleepwear. I wanna have sleepwear that matches each other and I don't wanna have just random band tees and like sweatpants and things like that. It is paid of 100% viscose. I got the extra small size. I put it in the wash just on a perm press and then I laid it to dry flat um, just to air dry and it seemed to do really well. Now there are some qualms with this set. I got the extra small and even though I have um, a small or extra small torso that is normally kind of the size range that I go by when I'm purchasing clothing, I also have decent hips, like I do. And um, for this pair, what I do find very hard and what my feedback to the brand would be is one, it is gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. You literally slip into bed and it is the coolest feeling. But the waistband on them doesn't have enough elastic because everywhere this piece fits extra small so nicely on me, but to get it actually over my hips can be a bit annoying and a little bit more of um, effort than I would like to do when I'm going to bed or getting up in the morning. So that would be my feedback. Maybe that's user error. Maybe I should have purchased a small, but I just think that the elastic band really should have a little bit more give than it's giving me right now. So if you are interested in purchasing from Very, they do have another range of really beautiful colors. I would suggest maybe sizing up just for the factor of that waistband. Remember when we were talking about girly style? I purchased this skirt, totally influenced by the Lydia's of the world, um, because 
It is just so insanely girly and amazing. I really wanted to challenge myself to just dive right in to where I feel comfortable dressing. And I think when it comes to confidence and, and bringing your personality out in your outfits, you just need to go for it, babe. You just gotta be like, how do I wanna dress? How do I wanna show up in the world? Not gonna care about what anyone else thinks. And when I saw something like this, I was immediately thinking, oh my gosh, you know, where am I gonna wear this and all of these things? And the truth is, where are you gonna wear this is up to you. <laughs> so for me, I'm like, I can wear this anywhere. I just have to dress it right for the occasion. And yes, it is very girly, very Carrie Bradshaw, but it's not insanely out of this world, right? So you pair a pair of high boots or booties with this, you put a little turtleneck on it, maybe you do a blazer, you pull a Dior look and you put this on with a blazer and a belt over top, and boom, that's already two different looks you could do with this, or you completely dress it down with something even more simple. So I'm challenging myself to add this to a little capsule wardrobe for the week and see if I can style it. Plus, I would love to start wearing more skirts because as I continue to battle my little digestive problems, there are days where you just feel so bloated and things like that, and a skirt, especially a tulle skirt, can not only elevate the way you feel in your outfit, but it can also combat that kind of being the highlight of your outfit. So, this was purchased from Amazon. It literally came the next day and I think it rang me in at $50, which is insanely incredible because I think that if I was to purchase something like this from somewhere else, it would be so much more expensive. Let me know if this is something you would love to purchase as well. I got it in obviously the beigey tone, but I'd be interested to maybe even get the pink tone. I think my niece would really, really like that. <laughs> but they do have a ton of other colors and I will link all of these things down below in the description box as always. Next up, as we chat about the comfy, the cozy, there is this one sweater on Lululemon that I've just been coveting for a really long time. And I had to wait for it to come back in stock. There had been a couple of times where I just missed the mark on the sizing. And that can happen often when you do shop somewhere like a Lulu and they have these oversized fits that are categorized by extra small, small medium, large, and it's just those two categories. But I really love this pullover. I have recently done a huge closet purge and I got a, rid of kind of a ton of my old grungy looking sweaters. I just wanted to elevate my loungewear and I absolutely love this sweater. It has a secret pocket inside of the front pouch here, which I found really exciting when I ended up finding because I didn't even know that that was there when I first purchased it. And just the way that it fits is really comfy, cozy, and it just makes you feel a little bit elevated when you are sitting there in your loungewear. And immediately, every single time I purchase the loungewear like this, all I'm thinking is, I could wear this on a plane. <laughs> and that gets me excited about travel. In the same shopping basket, I was also shopping to replace the closet equilibrium. One out, one in, one in, one out. I had just recently as well gotten rid of all of my sweatpants from high school that again, had so many holes in them. I used to wear all all the time the end of my sweatpants under my heel so I just had all these holes in them and I'm like you need you deserve some nice sweatpants Amanda so I ended up purchasing these ones from Lulu as well still in the scuba collection same as that sweater and I got these ones which I'll link the exact ones down below in a six now at first they fit obviously a little bit more snug than as you wear them so they ended up becoming um, quite baggy, which I do find is okay because at the end of the day, you know what? Y you don't necessarily need to be showing off your best assets when you're hanging at home and you're just in your sweatpants. As long as you're comfy cozy, it's good. And having a pair of sweatpants like this is 100% beneficial when you do live somewhere like I do in Canada and the temperatures have been minus 14 and clear when I got up with Rosie this morning. It was fresh but if you have a pair of sweatpants that allow the air to kind of reverberate between your skin and the sweatpant that actually locks in more heat than if you had something tight on when you're out in the cold so that's something to keep in mind and i find that these are just perfect to slip on over my pjs when i'm taking rosie out or to 
to go for a walk or just to hang out at home. And again, I do feel just a little bit better having an elevated pair of sweats and loungewear on versus just kind of like throwing on the grungy old stuff that I've had in my closet for literally over a decade. Two more things, bear with me. Two pieces of outerwear. This is also something that Josie has really inspired me by because she just has a really amazing way of making sure her wardrobe fits so well together but also she feels good when we are in the winter months. I realized the other day I've never actually purchased a winter jacket for myself <laughs> which sounds crazy you're probably thinking how did you do that? Well first of all my parents would purchase me a winter jacket when I was growing up. I still had, again, my same winter jacket from high school. It's hanging outside in our closet right now. I still wear it, which is kind of wild and really amazing and testament to my mom for cleaning that every year. But also when I was working um, as a weather expert, weather broadcaster, we had a collaboration with Columbia. So Columbia would provide us with winter gear every single season. So I have quite a few winter Columbia jackets, which is like, such a privilege inside of the closet outside as well but none of these jackets are actually <laughs> my style necessarily they were just kind of given to me and I'm like yeah well that makes sense it's very functional so we decided while you still have those functional jackets working for you on the day-to-day -day, sometimes when I'm running out the door and it's kind of mild still and I'm just running errands it would be nice to have some stylish jackets on hand that I could just kind of feel a little bit better about. Now I purchased my first teddy coat. Still, we've got the label on it and I'm still kind of going back and forth whether this is truly me. I filmed a little reel and I took a photo with it, but I'm, but I'm still looking back thinking, was that me? And maybe it was the curls that threw me off that day, even though I love them so much. But this is a teddy jacket from Abercrombie & Fitch and you can see in these little try-on hauls, it is quite cute. It's not exactly form-fitting, but no teddy coat is. And I do love the fact that it's white. So I've been having it hanging here and I've been giving it a couple of shots to try it on and just really see if it goes with my other outfits and if it's something that I could see myself wearing day to day. And I feel the exact same about this jacket. This is a Sherpa jacket from Abercrombie as well. And I currently do have a black one in my closet, which I love on those days I'm feeling more edgy, but the white one is just so much more me. A winter princess, I'll call it myself, but it's just a little cropped one and it doesn't have a belt or anything, but there are these little um, snaps on it that are nice that you can just put on and I think that this one is definitely a keeper not only is it a little bit more chic to kind of fit in with where I live but it's got that feminine flair of the white cuffs and just being a little bit creamier and that means that both of these things not only match my current wardrobe but are also matching where I want my wardrobe to go which is the goal of every single purchase that I bring into my closet so that's it that's all that is everything that is new in I hope you guys liked a video like this let me know if you love a chatty sit down and let me know have you ever purchased a pair of expensive sunglasses and lost them tell me your horror stories so that I do not become desensitized to the fact that I now have these in my wardrobe and as well the fragrances that question that I asked earlier. Thank you guys so much for being here. Again, be sure to subscribe to this little cozy nook of the internet. We would love to have you. And without further ado, I'm so happy to be back and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. P.S. I just realized I also purchased these tulips and they are like giving me life as well. So if you are feeling down, go get yourself some flowers. Tulips, they were $6.99. I highly recommend it. Match your outfit to them. We're gonna get through this winter. Spring is on the way. We got this, babe.